We are in Brighton. Actually, no, we're in Hove, technically. Yeah. And we are about to go see a flat. And yes, it's all, re all revealed now. Not that it was like a big thing anyway. <laughs> I think we kept it a secret for like two vlogs. Yeah. But we have been wanting to move here um, for a while. We've been thinking about it for a while, haven't we? Yes. We considered lots of places like London and stuff, but I actually have always kind of loved it here. Every time I've come, I have family here and I just, I don't know, I had a good gut feeling about it. Um, we're still open to looking at other places, but basically we want to take you along with us. Um, the whole journey with us finding a flat yeah. i mean this one might be the one and we might just go for the first but we've come down here pretty late notice because i was looking last night and i saw this one and i thought oh my gosh this is beautiful and um thought it was too good to miss so i emailed them and then they said there was a viewing for today and that they couldn't do it the weekend and it's first come first served so we'll have to see i guess and um let us know what you think about the flat i guess who knows what's going to happen today though because I think that it's pretty quick, these things, if um, you want it, you yeah, need to sort of say. as soon as it's on, it's yeah. gone. And it's a very nice one, so I don't think it's going to stick around for very long. And we're literally about 10 minutes till we have to meet them. We're a bit early. Hmm. And I'm I'm excited. Are you excited? I am. I'm a bit nervous. I'm quite nervous. Yeah. I feel a bit anxious. because I've never done like a proper flat viewing before. I've done a few when I lived in Truro and Cornwall. Oh, yeah. And it's funny because mm. you look online and often it looks a lot better online or a lot worse online. And then you come to it and it's totally different, mm. either better or worse. So you never know. And also there are like, you know, so many, there's so many extra costs you don't factor in. So we've got to evaluate everything. And I guess yeah. we'll have to let you know afterwards mm. um, what we thought of it and stuff. And yeah, um, it's the beginning of lots of exciting things to come. So. Are you really filming inside or in, yeah i'll get or, a clip of the inside so okay. you guys can see it and um Subtly. well no i think it's quite normal to want to get a video or pictures i'll say can i oh. film it oh, in okay. here i want to have it for reference just to see Fair what enough. it looks like yeah. um but it's super bright and airy and modern and um i do like conversions but um there is something to be said about having a new build hmm because everything works properly. Cheaper to run. Cheaper to run. Yeah. And I've I've lived in old buildings before and they're beautiful and stuff, but they do have their annoyances, so. Every old building I've lived in has been chilly. Yeah, and also dark. Mm. And I need it to be bright for filming. But anyway, yeah, yeah true. We'll, we'll probably. Photos look nice and bright. Yeah, we'll probably, we'll see. I think we'll sh we should go over there now. Why not? Yeah, I'd say so. About five minutes early. Five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Really nice big kitchen. Very bright. Yeah, very bright. Mm. It's nice to like see the furniture almost, so you can kind of picture what it could be like as well. Got some as well. Oh yeah. Okay, we just got back from the viewing. It's very quick, wasn't it? It's was literally about three minutes we were in there. I hope the clips I got were okay, but I felt a bit awkward just like filming everything. But um, it was nice. I like it. It was a little bit smaller than I thought it would be, even though it's still big. And I think what we should do, I think we should go to a letting agent here and see if there's any that we can quickly see now. Yeah. Because basically she just said that she's got, she's had four today and she's got another four after us. And if we want it, then we need to ring her and let her know today because it's probably going to go today. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't, we need to think about it. It's, it's really hard to put into perspective if we haven't seen others. We need to try and see something else. But then I get worried that if we do that, we'll lose it because someone else will take it. Do you know what I mean? It's hard. Because if we go and look at others and then there's nothing as good, we'll be like, Shit, we missed out on that good one. But we need to know that before we do. I know. We need to have a think. Because I think it's a... Pause. A, and we'll come back. A rookie mistake to just pick the first one because you think, oh, this is nice. You know? Yeah. Even though it was nice. I, it was I'm, nice. I'm not sure there would be a nicer one, but you have to at least yeah. find out. Yeah, we need to have a talk. We'll have a talk and get back to you. So we're still in the car like losers and I've been just looking on right move on my phone and we've lined up a couple more viewings and there was one that we thought was so nice but um, it's, I think there's a tenant living there and they need to have 24 hours notice for tenants living there. So it's too late notice for us to be able to go to see that. But it's so nice. I guess we could always come back tomorrow. Uh. Um. But yeah, we've got a couple lined up just to give us some perspective and we'll see. But we need to get some food, we're hungry. Yep. Okay, 
Okay, that was a mare trying to park. Um, but we've just, I, I put in my phone the closest place to eat that had vegetarian food, which probably wasn't the smartest thing to do because it's taken us somewhere random and um, it's hard to park. We should have just gone into the center somewhere. But anyway, we're here and <laughs> um, it's, it's like time is flying. I don't know why this all happens. It's nearly two o'clock now. We went and saw the flat like half 12. So I don't know how the time has flown so fast because we've done nothing in between. And we've got a viewing at half three, like out of Brighton. So we're gonna have to eat like scoff our faces and then rush to this other next viewing. Cause it's gonna- It's gonna take too long to get to. It's like 10, 15 minutes together. Well, we don't know that, do we? Because I saw it on Google. I'm stressed. <laughs> Can you tell? Like, I shouldn't have um, like done this so we were very rash in coming up here and then like booking these other ones. So yeah, anyway, hopefully food will um, lift my spirits. <laughs> I'm very hungry. Definitely will. Yeah. It's always the way. So it's this everyday welcome Bodhisattva Kadampa Meditation Center. It's a Buddhist meditation center that the cafe is in. So hopefully it'll calm my, calm my nerves. Of course they have a Buddhist meditation center in Brighton. <laughs> Done it again. Boom. Okay, so we're on to the next one. And, um, I'll... <laughs> sorry again if I seem like, ah, uh, it's because I'm a bit stressed because all of these um, viewings have come on really fast. And we're supposed to be going to London this evening to see my sister. And we're gonna be late now because we have to get home and it's a long way to get to London. And we kind of didn't expect the day to go this way. Um, because we thought we'd see the first flat and then be like, oh yes, I kind of thought I'd be like, yes, I love it. And then kind of know whether we wanted it or not, but we were very undecided and we thought while we're here, it's important to go see others, to put it into perspective, because just seeing one um, makes it difficult. And if we'd just gone home afterwards, then we wouldn't have known either way and we'd have, we would have just lost the flat full stop. So um, we thought in order to potentially get the first flat, if we like it, we need to see others. So. Yeah, but it's, we've got another one at five, so we've got one now at 3.30, we've got one at four and another one at five. Um, so we'll see how this one goes. We're here now, I think. Um, hopefully Hi. it's nice. So it's a bit of a stressful yeah. day. <laughs> Hasn't gone totally to plan, but something positive will come of it, hopefully. We'll have a better picture of what it's like down here and the places, and maybe one of them will be the right one, who knows? Yeah. So yeah. I hope so. Yeah. That'll be good. I'm feeling uh, nervous about this one again. Yeah, it's a bit stressful. I don't isn't it? think this one is. This is my least favorite from the pictures. Mm. So we'll have to see. You have yeah. to tell us it's what you bit, think of this one. It's a bit further out. out of town, but there is a nice long straight road with a bike lane into yeah. town, so it's not so bad. So we'll have to see when we yeah. go in. Okay, I was wrong. This one's one I actually like the look of. The next one's my least favorite. This one's quite a nice looking one, so I think this could be good. Nice bathroom. Yeah, it is. That corner Oh, that's a nice big bedroom. Yeah. Wardrobes. Okay, I definitely weren't as keen on that one. What did you think? I did like it. I don't know, but the building was a bit old and yeah. stank of cigarettes. Yeah, everywhere. really, the hallway stank of cigarettes. And there was the, a loud train noise, and the actual house, the bathroom, smelt like mold which is never a yeah. good sign because that means I've had houses before which have mold and it's the biggest problem. And it was really dark in there. The windows were on one side and they're facing like trees and stuff. So it's really dark and that's no good for me if I need yeah, to film and take too, pictures. Way too dark. Nicely too. decorated, like had nice furnishings and stuff. Like the kitchen was really nicely done and the bathroom was nicely done. But yeah, too dark, too smelly. Um, so, and also they were late. <laughs> so, did yeah. I say that? They were like 10 minutes late. So now we're gonna be late for our next one, which I feel terrible about, but I've rang them. So hopefully it should be okay. And then um, we've got our last one later. So I think the last one might be the best one, you know, but it is the most expensive. So <laughs> I'm not surprised. Alex wants this apparently sticker on his <laughs> car. Oh dear. 
We're very late and there's traffic. We're supposed to be there at four. What are we gonna do? Good size. Yeah, really good size. Floor's all more or less brand new. Yeah. It's been painted fairly recently. Yeah. Bathroom again, I think. Oh, so it doesn't come with a washing machine or anything? It doesn't, no. no. Okay. So it's just a case of coming right into there. Yeah. Decent size. Yeah. Leaves that area for like a work area. Desk, yeah, it's quite nice that it's set for it as well yeah, from the yeah. kitchen. Big windows, nice and bright. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just came out of that one. What did you think? <laughs> He's always so quiet. It was... It's always harder when there's no furniture in it, you know? Yeah, it was way brighter. Much brighter. It yeah. was really nice floors. Um, bigger kitchen than it looked on the internet. Um, the only downsides but. are that it didn't have a washing machine or a fridge that came with it, which is a lot of expense. Yeah. Those sorts of things, if we're going to be, we're not going to be probably, you know, staying in one position once we've moved, we'll probably move in like six months or a year to another place. So to have to buy a fridge and washing machines is a lot of, a, a big money, yeah. amount of money. Um, and the area, I kind of, want you know those pretty streets if you know england at all or if you know brighton at all or london those lovely pretty streets we haven't actually seen somewhere that's on like a pretty street they're all kind of like this is like i don't know it's not the sort of well, area we haven't really seen any in brighton in brighton yeah. or between brighton and Hope. and this is actually really informative because when we came out here we were like oh i don't mind being on the outskirts because i don't mind being in like the hustle and bustle and the noise of it but when you get to the outskirts it's not as pretty is it so actually i think maybe going a little bit further in would be better because it would be prettier streets like we yeah. drove through some really nice streets that really reminded me of cornwall and a place in cornwall yeah. called falmouth and it made me feel like at home so i'd quite like to live somewhere like th that felt like that this is a bit not really for me yeah we, we just to, did it as like a wild card we we're like why get, not let's just see to it get a nicer road so i think i have to pay a bit more yeah i want to live here with this view <laughs> i wonder how much these flats cost look at that view they're so beautiful I'm so excited about this one. Washing machine and yeah. fridge freezer. Perfect. This was here as well, which is quite nice. It's ruined my clothes before. The reason why they couldn't leave in this and that, they've been here a year, is because okay. they're buying somewhere. Oh, I see. Oh, this is, oh, this is lovely. These are quite right. <laughs> <laughs> lovely. Yeah, I'm quite nice. Okay, so we are on our way home now. We're feeling pretty happy. We did really like the last place. And uh, let us know in the comments down below which one your favorite was and which one you liked. We, our favorite was the last one for sure. And we've just got a lot of thinking to do now, a lot of talking and making decisions. And we might need to do some more viewings. We might not, we might contact some, you know, the last one or the first one. Yeah. But yeah, we've got lots of thinking but, to do and it's been an exciting day, isn't it? Yeah. Even if we have to do more viewings, I think we know more of the area we yeah. like. Definitely. We're definitely. We we. I came into it thinking, oh, I don't mind uh, being on the outskirts and all of that, and I don't mind about location so much because I'm not so bothered about being, you know, I'm not someone who goes clubbing or wants to go out all the time. But now we've had a look around. I definitely like the pretty streets and um, not being like on the edge where they're not, it's not so pretty. I definitely think that means something to me. To have it's like nice a, to have um, good cycle access. Yeah, it's good cycle the access. Center. It's a really pretty street. It's a really nice area. Um, it's close to the sea. It's just, it's, it, it was just really, really nice that last one. So but we've got a lot of thinking to do. We don't want to rush into anything. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with us today. And yeah, let us know your favourite in the comments. And 
I'm really excited that you guys are following us along as we do this. This is the first time I've worn a shirt. <laughs> okay, do you want to sign it off, Al? Um, yes. A great man once said. <laughs> Bye.